hear Pro speaker from Lerva. Lerva being a high-end German tech company, they specialize in TVs and all kinds of high-end stuff. And this one here is a one-up from the more affordable We Hear regular edition. And for the extra money, you get a bigger battery, faster charging and wired reverse charging for your mobile devices and of course you get a bigger sound because it is a bigger speaker and it has one feature here that is really a superpower and helps it stand out from the crowd in the portable speaker market so even though this is a large speaker it's kind of got a very minimalistic user-friendly design it's available in three colors denim classic black and then there's this one the neon and these speakers are actually the ninja turtle edition <laughs> okay, I'm joking. These are the Killian and Beppe edition. I'm assuming this color in particular, the neon, is to match his captain's armband when he plays football for the French national team. The price point on the non-pro model is 160 here in the UK, and this one is 250. So this speaker is really designed to fit seamlessly into any environment, whether it's indoors or outdoors. But of course, this neon one's definitely going to stand out for obvious reasons. I mean, it's neon. It'd be hard to miss this speaker if it was sitting on a dusty old bookshelf, for example. But I think Lever know that, and they do seem to be targeting a younger demographic with these colorways. The weight on this, as you would expect from a speaker of this size, is around 2.2 kilograms. But to make it easier to transport around, they have upgraded the strap from the regular edition to this shoulder strap. And it's nice and premium and it's got some good details on it too. Now being an indoor and outdoor speaker, naturally Lerva have ensured it's robust enough. It's actually designed to meet the IPX6 rating requirements. This does mean it can withstand splashes and rain. Although you might need to be a bit more careful on a beach as the X in the IPX6 rating does mean that sand or grit could cause damage to the speaker, likely around the woofers. So you gotta be mindful of that. And while we're talking about the woofers, I do like the design of these. They have this really nice pattern on them and they look really cool when playing. I also really like the recessed buttons and LED backlighting and the LED light bar volume slider. It is pretty slick. More on that in a minute. It does have a flat edge across the bottom of the speaker, which stops it from rolling around on the table when used horizontally. However, the charging port is also here, which does mean if you want to play music and charge at the same time, you will need to use it in the upright position. Now, one of the standout features on the Wii Hear Pro is, of course, the sound quality. Lerva is a premium brand and it's a German brand and their standards are high. It has 100 watts of power and officially six drivers, two mid-range and two tweeters in that stereo format. And then you've got those two woofers at either end. And although the speaker is round, it's not really an omnidirectional speaker. Its main drivers are facing towards the front, but the bass will radiate all the way around the speaker. And it does have a very nice bass response. The measured frequency range here is 50 Hertz on the low end up to 20 kilohertz on the high. For context, this range is wider than the average human hearing ability. And it's pretty standard for Bluetooth speakers in this price category. But you know, sometimes more important than the frequency response numbers is the quality of the driver materials. And Lerva aren't known to go cheap on these kinds of things. So my opinion on the sound quality here, having tested many, many portable speakers is, is very impressive. Straight out of the box, the clarity is really nice, particularly in terms of vocals and instrumental detail. The bass is present and boomy, but not to the point where you start to get muddiness in the mid-range. The Wii Hear Pro does sound fantastic with the standard Lerva preset EQ. Now listen, let's talk about that killer feature that I mentioned in the intro. It is the onboard controls to manually adjust the bass and treble. Most Bluetooth speakers just kind of jump to an enhanced bass mode or an enhanced treble mode with no options in between. And I love the way Lerva have done this. They've given it this granular control of the EQ without ever having to use an app. So you can simply tap the bass or the treble and then use the volume slider to adjust the amount of those to create your own custom EQ with the onboard controls. And something that's great about these is even if you slide the bass or the treble all the way up to the top, the audio doesn't fall apart. And that's really nice to hear. Sometimes things can get too sharp or too muddy and that doesn't happen here. And the bass, when it's at its maximum level, is very satisfying, especially for someone like me who's a bit of a bass head. Now let's talk about power. The Wii Hear Pro has very good battery life with it offering up to 24 hours of playback on a single charge and it can fast charge using the USB-C port on the base to fully recharge the speaker in less than two hours. So this kind of ensures minimal downtime on the speaker and it does really make it fantastic for hosting garden parties or barbecues and perfect for your 
adventures. And you do also get reverse wired charging from this speaker. So it kind of doubles up as a large portable power bank if needed. And as I mentioned before, the only slight criticism here of the charging is the placement of that port. But apart from that, in regards to battery, is solid. Now, if you're wondering about connectivity, the Wii Here Pro supports Bluetooth 5.3, and this allows for multi-point pairing. And with the touch of this button, you can create a true wireless stereo pair if you have two Wii Here speakers. It's also got a built-in microphone, so you can use it for phone calls. And I know some of you will appreciate this. It does have a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input for connecting external devices. And in fact, even though Bluetooth is very good nowadays, this is still gonna be the best way to get the highest quality audio signal to the speaker. And a lot of speakers just don't have this anymore. Over Bluetooth, the codecs supported are A2DP, AVRCP, and AAC, with AAC being the go-to codec for most popular devices, for example, the iPhone. That's the best codec that the iPhone has at this point in time. Unfortunately, there is no high-res codecs here, but with that said, most portable speakers don't tend to have high-res codecs mainly due to the shorter ranges that those particular codecs have. It just doesn't make sense for portable speakers in most cases. So the Lerva We Hear Pro has really been designed with ease of use in mind, there is no app. And to be honest, with the very clever control system, you don't really need it. And I am a fan of the rugged, but somehow elegant design. And to me, the most impressive aspects of this particular speaker is one, the sound quality, two, the battery life, and three, of course, it's that incredibly user-friendly EQ control, which is just a game changer. I do wish more portable speakers had this. And it is really these things that help it stand out in the category. And if you do get the Neon one, yeah, even more so. <laughs> If what you heard in this video does sound good to you, then you'll appreciate the Lerva We Hear Pro the most. Now listen, I gotta go. It's pizza time.